Okay, our next speaker is Hale Yazdi from Psychology. Thank you, Shauna. When I was three years old, my family moved to a rural city in the South called Commerce, Texas. And it didn't take long for me to realize that my Iranian family didn't exactly blend in with the other families there. This is because early in life, children recognize similarities and differences between themselves and others on a variety of traits, like gender and skin tone. And they use this information to categorize individuals into preferred in-groups and disliked outgroups. This process over time can lead to discrimination against outgroup members, which is something my family experienced. Now, a popular theory in psychology is that children operate on the belief that what's similar to me is good and what's different from me is bad. But almost all of the research in this area has been conducted in Western societies, leaving it unknown whether children across the globe develop prejudices in this way. My research aims to answer this question by taking a more global perspective towards studying childhood prejudice. Take Iran, for instance. Iranian children know that they're very different from Americans and that their country has ongoing tensions with the US, but they also know that the US has high status globally. So how might these children weigh similarity against other factors when deciding who they like? To answer this question, I asked seven to 12 year old children in Iran how much they want to be friends with members of four different groups. Iranian children from their own school, so their in-group. Iranian children from a different school, so an out-group that differed on one dimension. Arab children, a group who is similar to them with regards to language, religion, and proximity, but one that they've historically had conflict with. And American children, a group who they're very different from, have ongoing political conflict with, but a group that has high status globally. What I found was that Iranian children express the most desire to be friends with American children. In fact, so much so that they rated them more favorably than their own group. Surprisingly, children also expressed the desire to trust and be loyal to Americans. On the other hand, Iranian children express the least desire to be friends with Arab children, a group who they perceived as having very low status. What these findings show us is that children will welcome friendship with a group that is very different from their own, but it's our responsibility as adults to encourage these friendships and to teach children that all groups should have equal status. Children are our best hope for eliminating prejudice early in life and promoting better, more peaceful relationships across borders. My research brings us one step closer to a world where we see one another as equals. Thank you.